Hi everyone, this is JD, your gadget review friend. We're continuing to review and compare devices and you can check these updates on our Twitter community at GadgetRev now. Today, another old and new comparison. This is Nokia 8.3 versus Samsung S21. We're skipping the unboxing of Nokia 8.3 as we have some YouTubers who've already done it. Nokia just released Nokia 8.4 5G and I thought of grabbing last year's model and compared with one of the best flagship phones today, the Samsung S21. Outside this camera comparison test, Samsung S21 5G provides all the bells and whistles, while Nokia 8.3 5G is definitely larger, which is great for media consumption and also has a cheaper price tag. Both are 5G ready. This is the debut of Nokia 8.3 on our channel. We will compare both photos and videos to see what the difference are and who's better. Who will win? Hey, don't forget to subscribe my friend. Let's go! Hi everyone, this is JD, your gadget review friend. Today we're going to compare Nokia 8.3 versus Samsung S21. Hi everyone, this is JD, your gadget review friend. Today we're going to compare Nokia 8.3 versus Samsung S21. On our first test, the audio, both phones did really well. I'd say Nokia 8.3 is a little louder, but my voice in Samsung S21 is well modulated. Almost identical, so it's a tie for me. On our next shot, I took a photo of our living room, and I noticed three things. On this picture, Nokia 8.3 manages the highlights better as you can see outside the window, the teddy bears wasn't overexposed, while Samsung S21 was the exact color of the sofa. Nokia 8.3 won 2 out of 3, so Nokia 8.3 is the winner here. On our next shot, I took a photo of our studio plant, and the images are almost identical. Great color reproduction, subject separation, and sharpness. Will you notice you're using a cheaper Nokia 8.3 on the left? Not really, so it's a tie for me. On our next shot, I took a photo of random colorful things. And if we zoom in, you will notice that Nokia 8.3 is sharper than Samsung S21 in every angle. I mean, on a well-lit environment indoors, Nokia 8.3 will outclass Samsung S21. So Nokia 8.3 is the winner here. On our next shot, I took a photo of these teddy bears to check for color saturation. And evidently, Samsung S21 is more saturated than Nokia 8.3. I wouldn't say Nokia 8.3 is natural looking, but it is sharper and more contrasty. I think Samsung S21 is more lively here, so Samsung S21 is the winner here. Next is tech sharpness. So I took a shot of our inspirational books. If you zoom in, Nokia 8.3 is evidently sharper than Samsung S21. This is an easy call, Nokia 8.3 is the winner here. On our next shot, I took a photo of our center table decor to check who exposes the subject better when against the light. And if you zoom in, you will notice that Samsung S21 showed more information than Nokia 8.3. So Samsung S21 is the winner here. On our next shot, I took a photo of my Toronto Raptors cap. I noticed that Samsung S21 is lighter, but even though Nokia 8.3 is darker, it is sharper and more dramatic. This is a personal preference, so it's a tie for me. Next, I took a photo of a rusty light bulb to check who manages the shadows better. And if you zoom in, you will notice that Nokia 8.3 showed more information in the shadows, just a little bit, so Nokia 8.3 is the winner here. Next, I want to check for flaring, so I took a shot directly at the sun. On these images, I love how Samsung S21 controlled the flare and exposes the tree better than Nokia 8.3. So Samsung S21 is the winner here. Next, I want to check for finer details, so I took a shot of this tree branch. Normally, larger megapixel wins. Nokia 8.3 has 64 megapixels, but if we zoom in, Samsung S21 exposes this branch better, so although it's 12 megapixel, feels like it has more details. Samsung S21 is the winner here. 
Next is rear camera portrait shots, and both phones did really well. Again, tendencies. Nokia 8.3 is sharper and more contrasty, while Samsung S21 is lighter and more saturated. I think Samsung S21 nailed this photo. Nokia 8.3 is too dark and dramatic for me. So Samsung S21 is the winner here. Next is selfie camera portrait shots. I think this is a personal preference again. Guys will love the sharper look of Nokia 8.3 and girls will love the softer skin tone of Samsung S21. So this is a tie for me. Next is low light condition. Although Nokia 8.3 is okay, Samsung S21 just outclassed Nokia 8.3. From the grass to the sky and how well defined the house is. Samsung S21 is the winner here. Next is extreme dark condition, so I took a shot of our backyard almost midnight. And as you can see, it's the same story. Samsung S21 was able to show a little bit more information in the grass. So Samsung S21 is the winner here. And lastly, versatility. Both phones has regular and ultra wide shots, but only Samsung S21 has a telephoto zoom lens. And Nokia 8.3 has a fun macro lens. Day-to-day -day basis, I think the telephoto lens will be more useful. So Samsung S21 is the winner here. Nokia 8.3 versus Samsung S21 video test. We're checking the video stabilization and we're walking. And now we're running. Both phones are handheld. We're walking again. And now we're running. Everything is in default settings. We're checking the autofocus. And the light variation. Hi everyone, this is JD of Gadget Rev now. We're checking the selfie video recording of Samsung S21 and Nokia 8.3. Let me know which is better. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe. S21 versus Nokia 8.3 in low light condition. and extreme dark conditions. So on video test, it's a tie on stabilization, autofocus, and light variation. I like the skin tone of Samsung S21 in selfie video recording, and it can see more in low light and extreme dark conditions. So Samsung S21 is the winner here. So what is Gadget Rev now's verdict? These phones are solid choices in 2021. Nokia 8.3 is sharper, manages the highlights better, it's more contrasty and dramatic, manages the shadows better, and has macro capability. While Samsung S21 is more saturated, lighter, better in managing flaring, better in rear camera portrait shots, better in low light and extreme dark conditions, more versatile because of the telephoto lens, and generally better in video recording. I will be happy owning any of these phones, but again, sadly we need to have a winner. On this camera comparison test, I think the winner is... Samsung S21 For a few reasons. It has better low light capability, portrait shots, it is more versatile because of the telephoto lens, and generally better video recording. While Nokia 8.3 is also a winner, if you love the sharper and more dramatic look, and maybe you're not into solely photography and also wanted a bigger phablet phone, but a decent shooter. Still, Samsung S21 is superior. 
If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing. We're posting videos of gadget reviews, comparisons, photography gears, and tips. The goal of this channel is to review and compare devices as simple as possible, concise, and friendly. Don't forget to drop your comment, like, and share. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.